He's accused of the unthinkable, taking pornographic pictures of a seven-year-old girl. But now the man federal prosecutors say is responsible has been released from jail. This is an update to a story we've been following closely since last year. The courts have been grappling with where to put Ernest Ostrike since he was never convicted of a crime. While Ostrike was moved from jail today, his attorney says he still isn't a free man. Action News reporter Anu Prakash explains. After spending two years behind bars at the Wayne County Jail, Ernest Ostrike has now been moved to an assisted living facility. Ostrike is the man federal prosecutors say took pornographic photos of a seven-year-old girl back in 2009 in the bathroom of a Brownstown Township business. I don't feel that justice was done, that he would just be able to be placed into a nursing home facility. That's the voice of the mother of the alleged victim. We're not identifying her in order to protect the identity of her daughter. According to Ostrich's attorney, the 84-year-old suffers from dementia. Because he was found not competent to stand trial and didn't meet the criteria required to be committed, where to put him was the issue. Now Ostrich's attorney says he has been placed in a ward for dementia patients at an assisted living facility. He's not allowed to leave the, the facility and there's a close supervision and he wears monitors and things of that sort. So everyone involved is very confident that, uh, the, that the, the safety of the community is going to be is protected. Exactly where he's been placed isn't being released because it's part of a sealed court order. It makes me angry just for the fact that even though there is a resolution, I don't actually know what the resolution was. So I just basically have to go by their word as to what they're telling me. Obviously, he wanted to, you know, he wanted to go home. He's not allowed to do that. So. Um, he'll never have the freedoms that you know that you and I enjoy. I'm not so sure I'm happy with the outcome as far as the fact of not being able to actually have him convicted of something, but I am glad it's, it has come to an end. A new Prakash, Channel 7 Action News. Again, Ostrike's attorney says his client is not allowed to leave that secured assisted living facility, and it's his understanding that if he does, it would be a violation of the court order.